Cold today, similar to the last couple of days, we got 40s, we got saturated air, so it feels overall uh, a little cool, but certainly not cold where you need the extra layers and the heavy uh, jackets outside. A rain jacket will be perfect. It'll be enough to keep you warm, likely, and then it'll also be enough to keep you dry. Hopefully, you're not having to stand out there too long in it. We've got rain that's pushing in, northern edge of this disturbance. Got a lot of showers and thunderstorms further off towards the south. You can see in these last couple scans, some darker greens and yellows trying to spread into parts of five country. Let's start across LaFleur, Scott, into uh, Logan County, uh, Sebastian County. We've got rain widespread from Poto to Hevener to Greenwood to Mansfield, uh, Waldron, uh, down to Mina. And then as you head north over towards Paris, we've got some showers coming in. Fort Smith, Van Buren, we got widespread rainfall around I-40 and the 540 corridor all the way back out towards the west into Salisaw there, Sequoia County. You're heading east on I-40 towards Ozark, Clarksville, down towards Russellville. You got widespread rain, widespread rain in the mountains, and then further up I-49, we've got showers from Fayetteville to Bella Vista, over towards Garfield, Pea Ridge, down to Huntsville, up towards Eureka Springs and Berryville. Widespread rainfall this morning. We're going to look for temperatures to stay comfortable in the 40s out there. Rain stays with us the next couple hours. We've got widespread rain now through 8 o'clock, the best chance, highest coverage across the area. As we go mid-late morning, going to start to wrap that up, tapering it off across eastern Oklahoma, and we'll look for the drier air to to come in the rain to spread off towards the northeast. We'll look for upper 40s, low 50s as we flip the page into the afternoon hours. Again, early afternoon can't roll out again some lingering light fog and some patchy drizzle or a stray shower. But outside of that, we are wrapping up our rain chances. We get in the afternoon, we should be drying out. We're going to try to thin some of that cloud cover out and get some breaks of sunshine to mix in. Highs into the 50s across five country, and then as we go overnight. We'll do it again. We'll build in the clouds. We'll build in the fog and the drizzle will be possible going into Friday morning. Temperatures will drop a little cooler as we get into Friday morning. Lower 40s and upper 30s will mix in. We'll look for that fog to be around and then mix out as we get into Friday afternoon before our next round of rain moves in Friday night into Saturday. Could get a late day maybe an evening isolated shower, but again, the brunt of the activity should hold off until later in the night and then more into Saturday. We'll be warming up with sunshine as we get into next week. I will mind you with the storm system when it passes directly over top of a Saturday, uh, these upper level lows, they have these uh, cold cores, these cold pockets aloft, not a wide area of cold air, uh, but they just have these little cold pockets. And when they pass over this time of year, uh, kind of clockwise spin, okay. uh, they can produce a mix of rain and snowflakes. Maybe higher elevations typically have the best shot, but it's something that is common to this area of the country during January and February. We get these little cold pockets to move through and you can get a little brief switch over right Right now, not looking like a big deal, but we may see some snowflakes mixing. Yeah, but that's not.